My next guest is an award-winning actress who was born in Chicago. And Lord knows I spent four years in Chicago. So I know about Chicago. And was raised in Oakland, California. Been there many times. Uh, participated in the uh, Oakland Black Comedy Festival. That's what enabled me to get on Deaf Comedy Jam. Because at the time, they didn't think I could make black people laugh. So I had to go to Oakland and show everybody I could make black people laugh. Then they put me on Deaf Comedy Jam. You've seen her. Born and uh, starred in shows like Martin, Living Single. First time I met her was on Sister, Sister. I was a writer-producer on that show. Then the Jamie Foxx show. I was the co-executive producer and writer on that show. She is one of Hollywood's most talented and versatile actresses with groundbreaking comedic performances while starring in my man Bernie Mac show to battling zombies on Z Nation to currently starring in the hilarious sitcom on the Bounce Network, In the Cut. Please welcome to Money Making Conversation. My good friend hadn't saw her in a long time, which means I have not talked to her in a long time, Kalita Smith. Ah, oh, thank you. That's because I'm out here making money. There you go. Oh, see, I, <laughs> I, I love. See, see, I love that title. Come on now. See, that's a good actress. See, they 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 listen. They listen and they react. Kalita, <laughs> you are you are. Well, I'm a fan because you know I'm gonna tell you what people are. I'm a fan. Right? I, you know, people can say that. Okay. I, I, even before I knew her, first of all, when she came on the set, when I first met her on Sister Sister, just a pro. Just come out to do her thing. She works. And that's all you can ask for somebody. Yeah. Because yeah. first of all, they talented, but but you knew right then there was something extra. Because people come through, I, 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 I'm fortunate to be blessed working with people like Gabrielle Union, Kim Whitley, you know, Taraji P. Henson. All of them have that gift. And she has that gift because I always say she's photogenic. Okay, Lord knows, Lord, Lord knows, Rashawn can take a lot of pictures. I got to, I got to pose at different angles, Kalila, look, make it work for me, you know. Listen, listen, we do too. We, <laughs> have, we, we practice in the mirror before we come. Listen, don't listen. <laughs> and then, uh, and then on the Jamie Foxx show, and uh, and uh, you know, and success has always been a a blessing in her career. Awards have come our way in her career, and uh, today she's on the show to talk about a show that's filled with a lot of people that I know. Right, you know, I work <laughs> with you know. It almost feels like a Parker show reunion. Then my boy from Smart Guy. So my life has been filled with, uh, and work with talented people. Tell us about your role on the in the cut, and then I'm gonna start you know snapping off what I know about the show because your boy Bentley Evans who <laughs> gave me my job. Exactly. On Jamie Fox. Well, so, come on, I mean, listen. <laughs> in this conversation, all we're gonna do is just talk about people we know. Absolutely, so, absolutely. Long story, long story short, sound indefinite. Uh, Bentley hit me up and said, you know, uh, Kalita. This, we're into our second season. Yeah, we're going to our second season in the cut. And can you come join us? And I was like, Yo, B, yeah. But mm-hmm. you know, I'm out here in the apocalypse, so <laughs> you know, can we can we schedule this? And he was like, Yeah, I'll work around your schedule. And I was like, You got it. I'm there. And I was like, All right. Uh, once again, who's on it? <laughs> and then he said, Oh my God, Dorian Wilson, John Marshall Jones, Kenny Austin, Laura Hayes. I was like, What? Mm-hmm. Word. Listen, mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. there. Are you mm-hmm. kidding me? So I get to play an uh, awesome character. Her name is Cheryl. Mm-hmm. And um, she is the owner of the uh, hair salon, which is um, uh, Dorian Wilson's character. Jay Weaver is the proprietor of a, of a strip mall plaza. He happens to own the barbershop <laughs> and the hair salon. And um, I get to work with some wonderful people. Um, this season, he, well, last season we got married. Mm-hmm, right, right, mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. So this season we're showing black love and uh, what it means <laughs> to actually try to enjoy ourselves and balance out some of those things that we haven't worked out as people yes, ma'am. and yes, come ma'am. together as proprietors of um, a business mm-hmm. and watch ourselves grow into laughter, love, and just, we just actually having a ball. That's what we're doing. Let me just right. stop well, first playing. Because we are shooting hate. 13 episodes you know in like 10 days, mm-hmm. which we shoot so fast. And mm-hmm. all we got, all we, we can't even, we can't even him and Harbor. We just got to have fun and keep it pushing. Yeah, I've been to the studio. And uh, in fact, uh, actually, when the last time I was in the studio, was, I'd say about a year and a half ago, you actually were shooting a scene. And I could we, we didn't get a chance to talk because he's out there in Northridge, correct? Right. Right. And so, and so I know 
Bentley as a, as a good friend. Uh, Bentley created the, the Martin TV series, also created the Jamie Foxx series. He's an inspiration. And he also wrote a pilot for me Absolutely. when I was recurring on Jamie Foxx. Absolutely. You know, and, yeah. and, because he had a big development deal with Warner Brothers at the time. And so, yeah, and yeah. So my whole thing is when I, when, I, when I talk to individuals like Ms. Smith, and, uh, and, and Evans is that they're, they're game changers. Because even when she was reading, the, the just just going over the description of the show, is funny. It's just funny. You know, <laughs> I, I, I felt the need to smile as you was articulating of the how it came about and the fact that, but you slipped in that little zombie apocalypse conversation. Yeah, listen, let's let's listen, lie, let's listen. lie back to that, I, to I that National Guard, that National Guard commercial, <laughs> right? when you're a National Guard out there fighting them zombies. So the reason I bring that up because you were, you know, I listen to nothing but com- comedic shows. You know, you know, Bernie Mac comedic show. Now, yeah. you, now this is nothing funny about battling zombies. Talk, talk, walk us through that whole process and mindset of being able to adjust to that, to that, to that, uh, to that request. And also, you had to audition. Did you have to audition for that role? Did I have to audition? And I didn't even realize what I was auditioning for. Mm. Okay, let's just be <laughs> honest right there for two seconds. Because mm-hmm. what I said, what, they only gave me um, three sheets of material, which means a couple monologues. And I knew it was a drama because I can do both. Yes, Most ma'am. of my um, accomplishments happens to be in the theater. <laughs> so um, in doing it, um, I, I went and they let me know that it was um, um, definitely about um, having to do um, martial arts and fencing, which is something that I, I dabbled in. Or, and um, as a matter of fact, Sean Lampkin <laughs> but is a sensei of mine. Remember Sean Lampkin? Absolutely. Absolutely. So you're saying yeah. that you're saying fencing, right? You know, like, you know. With a foil, yes. Right, you know, foil, so three musketeers, yeah, three musketeers, with, uh, right? A foil, a sword, saber. <laughs> I could do combat fighting. Um, um, I did my own stunts in this, which is probably what made it um, uh, more um, advantageous for me to be able to do this show. But the great thing about it, the writing was excellent. It gave me an opportunity to show something different besides just doing comedy. Because what I am choosing to show in this business is that range is yes, everything. Ma'am. And yes, that because ma'am. we are actors and we do a role very well doesn't mean that's not that's all we can do. So I want to make sure that I am simultaneously doing drama and comedy at the same time, which I've been fortunate to be able to do for two decades. Whoa. Okay, we're going to come right back and hear more from the, uh, the theater, the theater, the mind theater of Kalita Smith on Money Making Conversations. Be right back with more, y'all. Hi, this is Rashawn McDonald. You're listening to Money Making Conversation. The thing about uh, Money Making Conversation that makes it uh, such a unique show is that I'm talking to people I know. I'm talking to people I don't know. And usually when we're in an interview, they know me and I know them, and we want to talk some more. My next guest that you heard in the first break is an award-winning actress who was born in Chicago, and it's Wendy for a reason. I'm going to tell you something. If you're in Chicago uh, during the wintertime, it will change your life. And then she uh, raised in Oakland, California. You've seen it in shows like Martin, Living Single, Sister, Sister, Jamie Foxx. And she talked about, you know, like she said, she, she developed her craft in the theater. And now she talked about her athleticism, you know, fencing, you know, which, you know, that's, that. Who, who thinks of that? Fencing. But that's something, that skill that she has, and she did her own stunts. And she starred in a show that premieres on Bounce Network. It's called In the Cut. Now, Miss Smith. Yes. Do you do you have a workout program or, or what is the physical fitness side of you? Well, since menopause, <laughs> I ain't been doing a damn thing. But uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> and that's real talk. Uh, but um, I, uh, my background is dance. Because <laughs> when you said it's Wendy for a reason in Chicago, like. It will change your life because nobody has the right clothes set. No. You cannot no. be prepared for the wind in Chicago. Definitely. So uh, fast forward. Um, well, I, um, I dance is my background. Um, spinning, basically spinning and Pilates because it's just politer to my body. Um, and with a dance background, it kind of like suits um, in rehabbing some of these little knee injuries that I've had. Um, martial arts is something that I dabbled in in fencing because unemployment um, kind of happens in your career, especially Absolutely. in the beginning. Mm-hmm. And so that you don't go crazy, you try to find another art form to develop. Mm-hmm. Um, and for me, it just 
it just made sense to do um, martial arts and um, so, so, so it was we local. Say it was right arts. here. And then Sean Lambkin, mm-hmm. who I love, right. um, challenged me in Taekwondo. There and um, mm-hmm. once I got there and saw that he was a sensei, he was amazing, and he inspired me to keep going. So, yeah, because my skill set it. is uh, Taekwondo. I'm not saying I'm you now. You, you, you can take your boy out fast, you know, because I got to think about some of my moves. Did you See, say Taekwondo? No, Taekwondo. Ta, 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 oh, ta, 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 ta. You said Taekwondo. Do it in T. Taekwondo. Okay. Yeah. Don't be messing yeah. with my skill set, Kalina. You know, we we might be walking down the street. I might have to do something to you. I might have to test you out. <laughs> Take you out with a with a finger listen, bend. With a finger bend. Listen, <laughs> listen, what you want to be able to do is be able to get away or be able to negotiate your way because what you want to do is live another day. Absolutely. Talk my yeah. way out of that. Uh, uh, I, can, I, I can definitely talk my way out. I can talk my way out of the good butt whooping real quick, especially when the numbers are not in my favor. So, right. <laughs> so it, it, it was something I was reading your bio, and I want to bring this up because it shows a, that special side of you. It says you are a big supporter of more women behind the camera and female filmmakers, in addition to lending your name and time to New Image Homeless Shelter. That's two. That was a couple of things we talked about. Let's talk about first being a big supporter of more women behind the camera and female filmmakers. Oh yeah. Um... Well, I just really think that there's a, there's a different sensitivity that uh, we as women have, especially women who who have come through this business, um, because not always have we women of color have been treated fairly. Um, I just think that um, even for myself, I would be interested going down the road of doing a little DPing, just so that certain angles and uh, uh, lighting, you know, those kinds of things makes a difference in a actor's career. You know, th- those kinds of things make you a star, mm-hmm. close-ups and things like that. And sometimes you'll get situations where you might be the only African-American, the only person of color in the project, right. and they really don't know how to light you. Right. you know, and those kinds of things are, yeah, those kinds of things put you in a different disposition, which is not totally fair. Mm-hmm. So um, in, in, even with, you know, there's there's just a difference between a female director and a male director, not to take away from it, right. but a female director has a tendency to be a little bit more patient, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, you know, more maternal about mm-hmm. it, especially mm-hmm. if there's an actor who may be nervous or mm-hmm. maybe unsure, you mm-hmm. know, and, mm-hmm. and you may not have time to really go to uh, a place where you have to start coaching, but if you just say the right words mm-hmm. to an actor, it changes the whole moment and it changes the whole dynamic. Um, I just really think that, um, you know, we, we are... We are more detail oriented, which is why most women are, you know, office <laughs> managers or uh, mm-hmm. customer service or, mm-hmm. um, you know, hostesses mm-hmm. or accountants or, you know, basically when you are the person who has to get make sure that the day ends well. Right. A woman is pretty good at that. Absolutely. It's really great to hear this conversation because I've been fortunate on the, the many sitcoms I've worked. I've had female directors and male directors and. Their, their their approach is definitely different, and there's no there's no negative push on either one of them. But you have to accept that their yeah. styles are different, and the nurturing yeah, yeah. process, the nurturing yeah. process, no, it's, it, it's 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 room, you know, it's mm-hmm. room, and it and it it only expands the opportunity for creativity. That's it, and then, and that's important because you know I always I always like to bring in. I never really tied one director to the series because I always felt yeah. uh, that you 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 give your actors if they they, they get that same beat they never grow. And so you bring right, in, you exactly. might give a, you might get one director maybe four or five episodes a season, and then bring others in, and and, and that that way you can see their their the growth. That the director may see some stuff or have an actor, or an actress create something comedically that we wouldn't have pulled out of that person if we'd have been using the same director. So that's important. indeed. So let's indeed. talk about let's talk about the uh, this other program that you've been lending your name to, and where is it located? New Image Home of the Shelter. Where is it located at? New Image Homeless Shelter is located um, in Los Angeles. Um, mm-hmm. Long Beach is their um, their main hub. Um, uh, these women, they um, so how I how I got to this was probably I would say maybe seventeen years ago. Wow! I did a um, um, I, I did you know where you serve the homeless and 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 all that and to me it just wasn't enough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. I even came from behind serving. And I started hugging. 
Mm-hmm. And then I had an actress say, oh, my God, what are you doing? You're hugging them. I said, yeah, because that might make a difference. Yes. A little human touch, yes. you know? Just yes. look somebody in the eye and let them know that they matter, right. you know? Mm-hmm. That it's, it's a moment away from being from being there. Yes. Right? Yes. It's just yes. a moment away. Yes. And, mm-hmm. and you never know what it is the thing that will trigger the person or inspire the person to go further and do better. So um, I happen to have... Uh, Ear hustle because they do a co ed where they have men, women, and children that they shelter there. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're very protective of the women and the children. So, what they will do is give the women and the children vouchers to go stay in a hotel. Mm. And so, I, I know I was ear hustling and I, I overheard that they didn't have enough money. Mm-hmm. And so, mm-hmm. because I was impressed that that was their process, I chimed in and, and basically wrote a check. And from mm-hmm. that point on, I had just decided I, I'm down with them. And so what they also do is they um, they have they make sure that they have like a little department store for people who are getting themselves back on their feet and transitioning into the workforce. So there's there's clothes, there's there's you know the beginning the beginnings of people's um, start. And they're just they foster a real real livelihood for you to really really get back on your feet. Awesome. Let's talk. I'm talking to Kalita Smith, one of the stars on a uh, good friend of mine, the executive producer and created Bentley Evans, who created Martin, who created Jamie Foxx show. It's called In the Cut. It's uh, on tonight, Monday night, July 15th, which is the date tonight. Oh, excuse me, July 22nd. That's July 15th is when it <laughs> premiered. July 22nd is on tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's a new episode yeah. every Monday night this summer. She plays the character yeah. Cheryl. She works yeah. out, works with my boy Dorian Wilson from the Parkers, my boy Lo, my boy Ken Lawson from the Parkers, my girl yeah. Laura Hayes from Def Comedy Jam, my yeah. boy Marshall from the Smart Guy. Again, yeah. a show we all should be watching and laughing at. Tell us something about the show before we get out of here, because uh, this interview been amazing. You are as one of my. I'm gonna tell you something. I didn't have to work that hard on this interview. You got something <laughs> to say. You know how to say it. So. Tell us about the show so we can get out of here, my friend. Again, The Bounce is on The Bounce Network. It's must-see TV. If you ain't doing nothing on Monday night, what you need to do is just go on and find us, bounce around and find us on Bounce, Mm -hmm. and you'll have a good time, and you get to see us the chemistry you get to see um, you get to see people that you've always loved and we have a great host of guest cast coming through. Every Monday you can catch this show. It's a great show. It's called In the Cut on The Bounce Network. 9 p.m. I'm talking to Kalita Smith. She's she's a can I say uh, Taekwondo? She said, I do high Kwondo. Uh, I took offense <laughs> to that because uh, she made me feel like I was, uh, you know, a wimpy wimp. But I do Taekwondo. I am not a brown belt. In fact, I wear a regular belt when I do my Taekwondo. Because she wasn't like, I'm telling you something, I'm telling you something, Kalina. You weren't too far away from high Kwondo, though. <laughs> listen, listen, watch it now. I'm from the, I'm from the 1900s. Oh, I love it. I want to thank you for calling on my show. This has been an amazing interview. Anytime you need me to promote, if y'all doing any charities, let me know so I can write a check to help out the program. We're talking about that homeless shelter, okay? on it. Absolutely. And I appreciate you and keep doing it.